Good morning and a warm welcome to Dogetti Parish Church Facebook Live Reflections, Tuesday the 28th of February, the end of the month and soon into March where spring will hopefully start, well it's already starting to bloom out there and it's quite a mild day today. I hope you're all very, very well. I'm wondering this morning about passing on of new skills. My youngest is learning a new sport. Sport in our household, our children all seem very good at picking up sports very easily. But this is a sport I know nothing about. It's a sport of curling. Curling is much fun and there has been many conversations around curling over our last couple of weeks, last couple of months to be fact, in our household where the youngest has started to learn how to curl. There has been a passing on of a new skill in that. And yesterday I got the chance to go and watch one of the curling sessions that he has been involved in and seen the, the joy of those young people who were enjoying curling. But more about that in a wee minute. But in the passing on of a new skill, there has been a gift given to my youngest from his great uncle. Here is the gift. The gift of a curling stone. In that sharing of experience, we had a wonderful conversation was had between a small boy and a great uncle. Of times of when the great uncle curled to get curled, where he was, the friends he was with, what the scores were in some cases in some games, what trophies were won. The bon spiels of curling outside and the enjoyment. There was also a couple of stories told and pictures shared, and it was wonderful to hear between the both of them. They entered into each other's world via a sport, and they learned a new language. They learned, well, one learned, the small boy learned a language of. Buttons and blank ends and counters and pebbles and rays and sweeping and I have absolutely no clue what these words really mean. But there is a new vocabulary, a new language being learned. Instructions, knowing what to do, understanding the words of another. And there's an invitation within that conversation where the small boy said to the great uncle, Can you come and watch me cuddle one day? To which the great uncle said, absolutely, I can't wait, I'll be there. And it was wonderful to see. There was a passing on of a new skill, sharing of experience and entering into each other's world. The young people at the curling rink yesterday were absolutely skillful. I don't know how long they've been curling. It's a beginner's class. I don't think they've been curling very well and I don't know how to curl. So I couldn't tell you whether or not their skill um, is good or bad or indifferent but they were managing to keep the the stone in the grink and in their lane if you like and be able to get it to the other end um, and lots of sweeping and delighting and cheering of each other on a couple of disappointments when the stone didn't quite go where they wanted it to go but they were so supportive of each other they concentrated and they learned and there was an eagerness to learn as well a new skill being developed. Within that club though, there was more, it felt more than just of a trying of a new sport. There felt to be a really nurturing environment, a moment where those who had cuddled and those who supported and those who coached were really there cheering each other on, passing on their knowledge. It felt there was an invitation to a community a real nurturing environment, as I said. And isn't that what we try to do here in our faith communities, in our churches? To be a really nurturing environment, to be including and welcoming, to be sharing of life together, to be enjoying each other, to be, sh to be connecting and there's an invitation for each other to be part of something bigger. That invitation might be for you to come along to Cafe Connect here on a Tuesday morning. It might be for you to walk through the doors and enjoy a cup of tea and a coffee and a nice piece of cake. It might be story time 
on a Tuesday morning as well at half past ten to come and hear the story with a little one or not, just to come and enjoy each other's company, to be in supportive of each other, encouraging of each other, to sing some songs and to have some fun. In our reflection areas in the church this over the next couple of weeks for Lent, there is, this week's on Sabbath rest and it might be there that you want to come and just be, enjoy, take some time out of the busyness of our world. There's so much going on. Our Ukrainian gatherings happen on a Friday night for those who are, are you know, come from Ukraine that are needing some support in a community, an invitation in their community to join together and to be and to share the common experience that they're experiencing. All is important. Of course, we have our youth group on at the same time, and that's an invitation for anybody of S1 and above to come and enjoy being together, to eat some pizza, to play some games, to share in life. It's all good. There is so much going on in our community, so much, and it's an invitation for everyone to be a part of that. But just as curlers share in their community and sharing their skill. Perhaps there's a challenge in that for all of us today. Challenge to share something that we have that we can give to someone else. Maybe that is in an object like a curling stone. Maybe there's something that you would like to pass on to another person and that really gives them encouragement. It invites them into your world for a little while and you share in their world too. Perhaps it's an invitation that leads somewhere else like to come and watch a game, to come and learn something. Conversations are good. Passing on objects to encourage someone might make some their day. Passing on a faith story. Passing on something that's really important to you in a conversation and a skill. Just sharing life with each other. That's what we're all about. So whatever your day holds today, perhaps remember the small boy and the great uncle and the wonderful conversation they had. Perhaps there's something in that that we can all share, that we can pass something on to either a younger generation or an older generation. Perhaps it's about listening deeply to each other and sharing in life. Whatever your day holds, I hope you have a good day and a good week and we'll hopefully see you soon. Take care now. Bye bye.